Well, I think what's happened with the internet is there's so much product out there and keeping up with our clients and what they're discovering, this is a way in 11 million square feet, if you can get around, to really see what are they going to be seeing. So you're one step ahead um, and learning so many new vendors that you just have not heard of or doing such great. They're a small company and may not have the advertising budget yet, but you're getting to discover them and bring it to your client. In the design industry, there are also a lot of wonderful retailers where you wouldn't necessarily know that they're buying stocked product. It really looks like they've, you know, like an antique store. It's sort of happenstance and, you know, this particular chair, there might only be one of it at a desk. And you think, wow, oh, that's amazing. And then, you know, people can buy and order against it or they can just buy and walk out the store. I mean, people have those different models. Now on case goods, um, if it's more formal, but it still has a casualness to it, there is more gloss coming in. Um, even in the grays and some of the, when you can see the wood grain, that's really exciting. Um, on the natural woods, there's still this continuation of a wood that's rough, if natural, but they're starting to do three-dimensional texture or inlays or a detail that, that makes it more dramatic than just this flatness that was what I've seen at prior shows. And so when I'm here, I'm always looking for these pieces that I know would be a really good counterbalance. And I'm, I'm taking photos to sort of stock my arsenal. And then I sell for my photos. I am absolutely, you know, thinking ahead and planning for the future. And when I show clients these photographs, even some are four or five years old now, um, they understand scale, they understand proportion, they can see texture that, that might not translate in a computer image. 